Today we'll be reassembling the Samsung Galaxy Note Edge, and we'll start by reattaching the rear facing camera back to the main board. You just snap it together like so to make sure the pins are lined up. And now we'll just set that aside and we're going to uh, put the USB port back in the case and you just kind of fit it in and then you gotta pull up that flex cable make sure it doesn't get stuck under the, uh, the board and you just set it into place. Now we'll put that screw back in to uh, secure the board back in place. And then we've got to reattach that flex cable that we pulled up earlier. Let's reattach the board there. Okay, now we're just going to replace everything in the upper portion of the device. We'll start with the uh, AUX port and you just gotta set that down in place and then push down on the connector and just get it stuck there. Next is the proximity sensor, it's the same thing. And now we have the uh, front ear speaker, it also has a power button, so you have to make sure the power button is fit in place and uh, test out the power button to make sure it's pressing correctly. Next we'll just pop the front facing camera back in place. Now we'll replace the uh, volume buttons and we just slide that back into place. Uh, make sure you have it facing the right way and then just secure the connector. Okay, and then lastly we have to replace the vibrating motor. And the same thing, you just pop the motor in first and then you want to push down on the connector afterwards. Now we'll reconnect the uh, flex cable on the bottom of the main board and then put the main board back in place. Make sure you get all the flex cables out from under it. You don't want to forget to connect something and have it stuck under the board. And now we'll just connect each of the flex cable connectors just one by one. Alright, now that all that's done, we'll just reattach the back cover and we'll just pop it back into place just like so.
And then now we have to replace the 15 screws. Now that all the screws are in place, we can replace the SIM card, the battery, and then the S Pen, and then the back cover. Just close the phone back up. Now all that's left to do is just power on the device and uh, look at your handiwork.